here on Attack of HD. I gotta do some MacGyver f***ing rigging. Next time, just let me know what I'm doing so I can bring the right sh**. We got another care package from Euler. Hooray! Introducing the big black box. Oh, sh**. The boys over at Tecmo decided to have me come out and do a uh, box reveal of the Das Mueller Coops tools they brought in. So it's a little late, I'm a little thirsty. Let's see if I can lift this crate off. Solid titanium. Let's see what we have. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. Oh, my shoulders can't handle this. Holy sh! There's a lot. Of sh there's a lot of sh there. It's a bunch of Mueller stuff in there. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Whether you like to buy online, call us or message us. We'll help you out. Is that good there? Is that a skateboard? Mechanic skateboard. It's a cool design. It's got the spinny wheels. It looks like it'd be super comfortable, but I don't know how comfortable it would be laying on this. It'd be good for the truck guys. When they're always on their back. That's funny, I can say that because that's where I spent most of my career. Oh yeah, got more of these. Oh wait, Tyler's already been through this and pilfered it. You're gonna use the same boxes for the unveiling of Cam? Cam get, goes to do this, <laughs> everything is just fucked. What the fuck? yeah? Tyler was in here first, he's a little kid on Christmas, just destroyed everything. I hold that against him till the end of time. But now this, this is a pry bar. It's really short though, it needs to be like 12 feet long. Get some really good leverage on it so you can bend the fuck out of this tip. Those are a good quality. The only downfall is like, I don't like the handle design. It's like the fact it's kind of like bulbed at the top and then flares out. I don't know, it's very soft and it's just a very weird shape. Like it just, it's not comfortable in your hand. I did complain about the soft handles on their other bars. They're probably good for most guys, but for me, I just found they, they, uh, they started to get a little, little bit of movement to them. So then the way they do, they send me these hard handles. Look at that. Healy bar, sweet. Man, I don't know what the f you'd use it for. Looks kind of cool. Like a ninja warrior. Wow. Those are pretty deadly. I mean, one nice thing about it, the tip is forged, it's not welded onto it. That'd be really bad. You got a reef on this, like a mother tink goes your front teeth. Oh, that's a heavy one. That was heavier than I thought it'd be. That thing's heavy. I like it. Double handle. This thing's like thick too. She's girthy. Mueller, can you explain the two handles? I'm confused. The extra twisting grip? I'm gonna be honest. And this is me being like tip biased towards snap-on. I just like the handle of the snap-on ones way better. Like the snap-on ones do the bulbed head, but bigger so your hand doesn't slide off the end when you're fucking working in oil. Like these are, these are nice. I, I'm gonna try it, but I don't know, that one. Did they put a second handle on there or was it designed for the, that's how it's supposed to be. Like I said, the soft handles are probably good for like 90% of the guys. It just so happens that I don't like them and I'm in that 10%. Look at that, bendy magnet. I've needed one of these actually. Demo it. Oh, hold on, let me go lower now. There you go, Brandon. It even doubles as a seat for you. Oh, look at that action. I like it because it doesn't seem like you can break it. Like it bends, it's like kind of springy. But we'll break it, don't worry. We'll test it. We'll see how hard it, how much abuse it can take. Three thousand grams. Can I keep it? 
Can I take it home with me? Stubby impact sockets. Extra stubby, just like Cam. These are fucking sick. I'm assuming they can be put into something too. That's neat. Those are super, super low profile. I'm just gonna load these right into the truck. Mine! That's pretty cool. I like that. That's neat. You know how it's, you can tell it's neat? Because it's neat. It's pretty neat. Those are cool. I like that. Good job, Mueller. A refractometer? Oh, sh yeah. Def refractometer. Oh, I need one of these. Good. I spy. Replace. Fair. Good. Uh, I believe you can do battery acid with it, too. I'm pretty sure it means coolant, but it's, uh... Yeah, got the symbol for fucking windshield washer fluid. I don't know why you'd want to test that. If it's uh, cold out, put the good in. I want to look at this little wooden box. What's in here? Mmm. Oh, sick. One of these things. Let me read what the label says, maybe. Repair kit for oxygen sensors. Oh. Was well, it like a replacement thread? Yeah, sick. Mueller, you're pretty crafty. What the f***? Ooh, sick and sweet. You can set the depth. That's neat. Them Germans, man, they're crafty as f***, bro. Or AF. Crafty AF. Depending on the thread size, that'd probably be handy for um, NOx sensors and whatnot, because a lot of these sensors are, are metric. Fluid suction device for obviously sucking out coolant. That's kind of cool. The turkey baster bulb is not really big enough to do the entire rad tank in one go, so it's kind of disappointing, but everything has a purpose. I wonder how many ounces are in this. After you get cleaned out and the, pla the rubber taste is gone, you might be able to do shots with this. <laughs> Hooks, turkey baster, or artificial inseminator for you farmers. I'm not going to lie, kind of what was going to buy these a couple weeks ago for in the service body to hang up my extension cords. Then I realized that you can use them to hang up brake calipers too for when the piece of shit Ford breaks down and has to do brakes every 35,000 K. Those are, that, that's going to be handy. One of my favorite tools, the, the strap wrench. All other filter wrenches are inferior to this. Yeah, it's like the cat ones, but better. So if you miss the old school cat ones, the new ones are shitty. It's not quite as thick as the old cat ones, but it's a lot better than the new cat ones. So we've been using it and we've actually had a lot better luck with these not coming apart because of the way the snap rings and everything are designed. They don't, they don't pop the big snap ring off the end. So check it out if you want a big strap wrench for bigger filters. I personally f hate these things, but I hate fucking filter wrenches because I'm the that uses them to install filters over tightens them and then goes F two months later when I got to take them apart me and camera come from the heavy world or the even like mom well, the truck world now this would work in automotive because the filters on there are supposed to be done up hand tight unless you get some jazz that does them up with a filter wrench or an impact in some cases it does look like it'd work for that but I mean I don't know without trying it I can't give you an honest review of how it would last I'm quite confident I can break it that's a skill I possessed. I'm quite proud of it. That's Dean. I was the snap on testing grounds for him. They'd be like, yeah, it's indestructible. I got to gather it up. I like the bins though. They gave us a couple of these bins, a few of these bins, quite a few of these bins. Those are nice. I mean, they, they are plastic and I mean, plastic has its limits. I mean, these are pretty cool. German automotive tool innovator. Only downfalls I can see getting up real easy because it is made out of plastic i mean it'll last quite a while but in the heavy world i can see this breaking quite quickly more flare nut wrenches bigger sizes i like it daddy like hey i wonder if they would make like bigger sizes like like 21 and up i would use them like 21 22 24 27 30 32 yeah what are these 
<laughs> Can't get into it. It's childproof. <laughs> Indexable fucking crow's foot or flare nut wrenches, line wrenches, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Guys in the comment section are like, no, this is what I call them. Well, I, I don't use these. I throw them in the trash. Four-way angle wrenches for life, bro. Cam will probably want these. Cam wants everything. He's like a tool junkie. He's got all the cool tools. I'm just trying to catch up. 36. 41. 46. Crow foot wrench kit. So I'm not gonna lie, when I seen Cam unveil these, I was like, I want, mostly because they're black, I should be put able to put a lot of power to it, and that's a three quarter drive. That's beefy. Nice little pine wood case you can put your standards in, close that up, throw those in the fire. 19 to 41, there's a few sizes skip. There's no 23, no 25, no 26, no 28 and 29 either. No 31, 33 to 5, the f Mueller. Good skipping sizes. I pay for f***ing sizes. I want my sizes. It's not a 19 to 41. There's a few, few skip sizes in here, guys. I don't know. They, they look like they're decent quality, but only way to find out is to beat the f*** out of them. Skip jumped to me behind the f truck, beating him with a f hammer. You like that? You like that? Yeah. <sighs> what the f***? Oh, look at this guy. That's a, that's a Gucci little baby. Oh shit, oh man. Look at that. This one looks a little longer. This is heavier though. And I'm all about the weight. The weight. Ooh. Sorry guys, to be in the trades, you gotta be right-handed to run Mueller Coop stuff, you know. Can't do it with your if you're left. You gotta work with your index finger. This thing is fucking. This is tits. How many foot pounds is this beast? Good thing they list breakaway torque, cause I can't fucking read what max loosen loose movement moment. Five hundred foot pounds in the forward, six eighty in, in the return. Cause you're returning the bolt to you. This is mine. That's not the one that Cam really liked. What the f***? Because it was the mini one. This one? I was f***ing impressed with that one. Okay, yeah, this one's ambidextrous. You can be right-handed and left-handed. What's the spec on this little f***? Newton meters. F***ing awesome. 615 Newton meters. In right. That's impressive for a little tiny half-inch. That's like the size of a quarter-inch gun. I thought they were 3 drive, though. Oh, they're f***ing half-inch drive. Holy f***. <laughs> it's tiny. That's sick. I am totally going to break something with this. Put it in the F-gear for f***ing go, boys. I like how they call it the mini half-inch. Then there's a mini-er half-inch. Me losing me. Yeah, we don't want that guy. He keeps making fun of all of our sh Get him off the channel. He's, he's too smart. He broke through our code. I'm assuming this is 1,084 Newton meters. Because it's 1.084. I'm assuming that's supposed to be a decimal. 800 foot pounds? So 1,600, that's over 1,000 roughly. I don't know. In the comments, do you tell me if I'm right or wrong? I don't give a f. It's impressive for a half inch gun. But my snap on electric's got more. What's the, what could be in here? Oh, and it's even orange, eh? Look at that. You know, like, they actually do the impact thing right with the, with the reverse trigger there. You know, where it's supposed to be. With the reverse switch. Is there a little piece of airline in here too? No. Nope. Tyler took that too, hey? I don't think there was one in there. It was a joke, relax. Six, jeez. Look at that. Can I try this? Can I stick it in my truck? I'm gonna use that one right away. Oh, let's take a look at this one. This looks sick. I'm looking forward to this one probably the most out of everything. F it's empty. What? 
Mm, like good. Mm, yes, proof. Mine. Keeping. <laughs> Cam, not get. You got the gripty here. Check this out. The gripty tray. <laughs> gripty organizer. I love the name. Is that a German word? Gripty? Gripty. I like it. I like these. These are handy. Why is it so dirty? What the f***? I'm assuming this is a, a gripty organizer. Not very gripty. If it was magnetic, that'd be kind of cool. You could stick it to things. Tyler. He popped the cherry out of this crate and I'll never let it go. <laughs> never let it go. It's okay, I'll let it go. Look at that. And I, I was excited to get my my mitts on one, my mini hands on a mini grinder. When you got small hands like me, you need small tools. Mini angle cutter. This is cute. I mean, it has a place, but like, fucking. Well, I make everything look small, including myself. I mean, what? Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got a set of these already, I think, don't I? Hey, is there a set of these in here? Already? I think it's a cabinet. In that cabinet? Okay. It's locked. Oh. Who the f is this? What the sh? They just what up, G? I miss you already, Carl. <laughs> We're back. We're back. It's me. We're back. Hey, is there a set of wrench extenders in here? <laughs> I like how they put a little wrench in it. This is going on to a big f***ing wrench with a big f***ing ratchet at the back of it. I'm going to make this mother like eight feet long and then watch it snap. Who wants to join me on that adventure? I found the big one. The Uni Extender 2. Everything's kind of like mid-length. It's not very like girthy. Long. Extendo, bro. Oh, just the one? Oh, oh! A teeny boy. Look at that. I only took the bigger guys. Oh, that guy. Knife set. Knife set. Knife set. I found it. Oh, it found me one time. <laughs> it got me good the other day. But I heal quickly. I move on and I heal. Time heals all wounds, you know? Knife set. I'm assuming it's gonna be sharp. Very sharp. This one, though, I think would f it up. I don't know what half, like, this is a prison shank for sure. Was this a glow plug extractor? Is that what this one is? Glow plug kit. Oh, M10 by 125 glow plug kit. I like it. So I've actually never used these, but I've seen a guy use them. And he's on TikTok. They're fucking pretty sick. The drill bit centers itself, you fucking drill away, then you tap the whole fucking instructions, but they're probably in German, so there's no instructions. God damn, Mueller, do better. I don't know how the fuck this thing works. How am I supposed to be like, yeah, it's good, go by it. I don't even know, warning, all parts can cause flying chips. Now I can't see. If you got a tool for removing broken injectors that I smashed off, that'd be good. Yeah, there are instructions, guys. There's pictures, too. F no way. I don't know. Ooh, I was looking forward to these, though. Sensor tap sockets. Did Tyler take any more of these? Did he take all my sensor tap sockets I wanted to try? Good. They're mine. <laughs> M12, but what do we got here? We got a... 
M12 by M12 by 125 and I'm M18 by 150 taps there's a lot of shit in here another magnetic pickup tool sensor screw tap and oh for fuck's sakes I just bought these off the snap-on truck and I like them because you can come down here it's like anodized or they fucked up the coating but that's so cool yeah, I, I literally just bought these last week. I'm going to try them. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it comes with a little, little bitty boy on this one. Little, little thingy for, the, you know. Uh -huh. These, awesome. Recommend buying them, very good. Quite good quality, do good job. Uber good. Ooh. I'm a big slide hammer fan. Ooh, big brass punch. I love brass punches. Those are always handy. Ah, M10 slide hammer. Good hammer. Just not much weight behind it to beat the f out of people. Another slide hammer. Did they ever tell you I like slide hammers? Oh, there. It goes that way. I see. I like it. I like it. The Mueller Cupes scrapers. If you ever need to smack something with a scraper, it's got a striking cap. One bendy, one not so bendy. Like that one, I'd have no problem smacking with a hammer to wedge into something to pry it open, but that one, not so much. It's a little thin. But I mean, it would work, really work for scraping things, I guess. I'd like to give those a shot. But I know a guy that can use them more than I can. I like to give my tools to the less fortunate when I'm not needing them. What's this? What's this? Oh, sick. Display. What else we got in here? Oh, nice. Uh, another chunk of hose. <laughs> what is, why do I get stuck with just a chunk of hose? I'm just kidding, I already got this one. Sick. I even put iron sights on mine. The muzzle brake silencer ring on it. Just br br I want to compare it against this. I love this air hammer. It is a beast. I have up a lot of shit with this thing. I want to see how this compares against it. So there you go. If you guys have a snap on, you can run me their bits. Probably cheaper too. Oh, you got your basic white girl kit of bits here. Snap on, you got to buy this kit set. This one separate. This is nifty. If you're doing exhaust manifold work. Only downfall is there's no retainer ball, so you put it on, it wants to fall off. But anyways, you put it on here and you start beating it with your wrench on it, and as it fucking vibrates and hammers, you have your wrench on here putting upward pressure, or downward pressure, depending on which way you are, in the loosening direction. As this is sitting here beating the fuck out of it, it eventually just breaks loose and spins it off. Works fucking sick for exhaust manifold studs, like that, where you have the room to work, obviously. Doing this, you require a lot of real estate. Just sit there hammering away, hammering away, hammering away, and just slowly rotate. You're gonna do one of two things, either break it or get it loose. I've been 50 50 in all my attempts, it's worked. And I mean, you gotta get it out anyway, so who cares if you break it? But the fact it comes in with standard bit kit's pretty fucking cool. Snap on, you gotta buy it separately. Ooh, ratcheting breaker bar. I'm a little conf like this is very cool, but I'm a little confused. Like, is a ratcheting breaker bar not just a ratchet? What's the difference? What the f No way. A ratcheting breaker bar? I have one of these. It's called a snap-on. It's really expensive. That's f***ing cool. Doesn't come apart, but that's pretty cool. Put it in a neutral and ooh, it then becomes a breaker bar. So it's like a ratchet and a breaker bar. I'll try it. We'll see how this goes. I do break breaker bars often. 10 breaker bars and nine wrench extenders. This 
fucking something is coming loose. This quarter inch bolt is not going to be tight anymore. I'm unboxing this one. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I like these. I've got a set of Mac ones, overpaid for them, pieces of shit. The bottom bowl here gives you a nice deep area to store your nuts and bolts and small parts into. They're really handy. I, I do like these a lot. And they are magnetic, so you can stick them to things. Mueller, Coops, buy it today. Yeah, no, I like these things a lot. Really, really handy. Anything magnetic you can screw in is cool. I do like the color combination. The green and the blue is pretty dope. Oh, my favorite. I've been craving getting a set of these, so these are mine. These are mine. Is there blue and green? I was green one. Check the green ones, what the fuck? Are these the carbide uh, scrapers? That is sick. To the back of the truck. That's impressive. Work truck west. Do better. Ooh. These are sick. German friendship pucks. Oh, miniature ones for your small friends out there. Oh, ah, those are like pretty stuck. I like it. I like it. You're not very magnetic. I don't know if my guys from TikTok have followed over to the uh, the here yet, but a lot of them have asked me about these mini die grinders. <laughs> I said, like, why is it rattling? There's a rattlesnake in the package. Oh my god! But yeah, these are fucking awesome. If you haven't bought them yet, go buy them. Cause you're gonna need it. Awesome for drilling out small bolts, studs, like that. Really fine. You just turn it down, you slowly chew away, keep it cool, keep the bit cool. Works well. You rig up the exhaust so it sprays you right in the face, it keeps it cool on a nice warm summer day. Until you realize that someone farted in the intake of the fucking compressor. That smells like shit, and I don't know what happened. If it's like the snap-on one, 20 out of 10 recommend these like i'm serious guys if you haven't bought a set of these the straights in the 90s they're tits i love them Ugh. <gasps> this is what i wanted this is what i was actually looking looking for i keep saying that with everything but how does this all rig up together so let's see nope i got it backwards uh, 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 uh. Mm, look at that. So that's what that one's for. All right, we're getting to the nitty gritty, boys. A three pack of kneeling pads. They are quite soft and comfortable. See, you can you can use it to kneel in your grass to work on your lawnmower. Kneeling pads, oh, these are for you. Yeah. They're Brandon what, size. That wasn't a joke. The one for me. Do you want the truck? Yeah, we'll put them in the truck. Did Tyler get some of these? No? He doesn't actually go underneath machines. Press and pull sleeve combination kit. Yoink. That's heavy. Ooh. I don't think this is going to take much force before it just decides to open up. <laughs> Option, C-frame. Short spindle, too. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what these are? You know what this is? It's for pressing and pulling and stuff and things. I'm just trying to figure it out because there's... Certain ones that fit like certain ways, so you can like stack these, right? There we go. Oh, they got numbers on them too. So, so these can stack up. So, talking to them about this when I was over at, at SEMA, this kit. But I was saying, you guys should make something like this, but for like excavator stick nose bushings and stuff. I'm assuming, automotive guys help me out here, that this is a ball joint press for pressing your balls out. 
So I don't know if, I uh, mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but just really make it so that you can put some grease in your, your pressing screw. That way you can stay lubricated as you work. Just a piece of advice. It's kind of what I've seen with the fancy ones, the, the S truck ones that you can do that with. I was excited about this probably the most. I keep saying that, but I actually was really excited about this piece. This little S-shaped hook. Oh, look at that, another catalog. Carl thought he took ours, our only one, but I got another there. No, this thing, diesel filter primer, filter refiller. Look at that. You gotta figure out how to how to use it still, but good for priming filters. Diesel filter refiller. So I've, I've always been like a big guy. I've always been a big guy, you know? No, I've always been big on not pre-filling filters. I think we talked about that a few times. Just the the only real reason is just contamination, right? So that's it. That's like if there's a way to do it without getting it dirty, if you got purely filtered fuel or something then great but it's not an ideal it's not a great practice especially on like modern common rail and stuff like that so i'm gonna see if i can give this thing a shot i'll try it out see if it helps us prime fuel systems a little quicker what the f is it a mighty valve for bleeding brakes <laughs> this tool is intended for professional use only. Ha! <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> I don't know. Most machines have uh, electric priming pumps, so... I mean, if there's a brake bleeder for the forward service brakes, just saying, I bought it. All right, I guess that's it, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, a Vibro Impactor. You know, it, it just, like... Cam showed it to me and it looked bigger. But I guess Cam is a small man. I am really wanting to try this. Because what I want to do with this is uh, try beating kingpins out of it. We got the kingpin press at work and sometimes, and honestly, we struggle getting kingpins out boosters with it. So I'm wondering how this thing would work. I mean, it can get f***ed up. But if Cam can push out equalizer bushings by bars of a dozer, this should be able to send out a kingpin out of a seized up booster axle. What in the f cold up? Is this mother in Oh, it's indexable. That's why I struggled getting it in. One thing uh, it would be nice if Mueller could do is make it so that you can also walk these around too, like with a wrench or something, just to be able to fucking, like get rotation on it, like so you can beat multiple different sides. The snap on one, a couple of bits are indexable like this so that you can't rotate it and it doesn't spin while hammering that's pretty sure the point that they did this and i mean it's indexed right into the barrel but as some of the bits it's nice with the snap on one that you can actually walk it around to be able to hit all sides and not have your hammer walking around beating up the outer parent bore done that once or twice but i'm excited to try this cam gave it a really good review so if it's lackluster it's all cam's fault what's this Ooh. 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 Look at that. Somebody drank out of this one? <laughs> Stinks like... <sighs> That's good. Eh. Uh. What is that? That's gross. Of course it's not new, f***ing Tyler. Remember guys, God loves you because I sure don't. That's our Mueller crate. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, we're gonna go use it. We're, we're gonna try it. I'm sure there's gonna be things here and there, but hey, that's what we're all about is like the feedback and the, the honest feedback. And not a lot of times you get companies like this that actually listen to the feedback from the end users so very thankful to Mueller a lot of thanks to them for letting us try this stuff out in the field pick their tools talk about them whatever <laughs> honestly it's hard to talk about stuff that's this good but yeah I just want to say thank you to Fortis for bringing me out and having a look at this stuff and 
and uh, look forward to trying it. Looking really forward to breaking it. I'm gonna tell you that right now, Mueller. I will help you be your R&D department on making your shit better. If you guys are interested in any of this stuff, you can find it on Fortis HD. Also, one other thing too, um, if you go on the Fortis HD website, a lot of guys have been asking for swag. It's not quite released yet, but you can buy sticker packs, $15.99. Huh, For 14, no, the extra dollars from me. <laughs> commission, commission for every sticker pack sold, mother Every minute you waste is a, is a dollar I don't make, so hurry the up and get on there. Buy their shit, support me, support them. Help me fund my tool addiction. I now have a Mueller addiction. I want my beer stein. See you guys later. See you guys when we actually use this stuff. Oh, it's so good, I love it. It's my favorite. I'm really excited for this. This was what I was most excited about. <clears throat> Anyways, y'all have a great night. Remember, God loves you, because I sure as don't. Laheim. No. Das empty. No good. Buy some parts, fortishd.com. Buy some rubber tracks, fortishd.com. We have it all. Buy some tools, Mueller Coops. We got some fun new stuff coming too. Check it out. Are you an experienced heavy duty mechanic thinking about going on your own? Click the link in the description to fill out the form. Tecamo, your heavy equipment support network.